Hey everyone, welcome to today's stream. Today we are going to finish the Deluxe Skin event uh, Hidden Strife uh, and then uh, we'll be achieving uh, all of the endings uh, of uh, the Heizo Hangout event. Okay, let's get started. Just positioning myself. And yes, I tried to uh, see if I could prevent the uh, vertical head movement, you know, of my model not to do this stuff. But it only ends up looking way worse and unnatural, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think this team is good enough. Let's try. Stabilize! For Rex Lapis! Lament! <laughs> Worthless! Worthless! Tear! Order guide you! Ah no wait, uh, frozen. Frozen, so maybe it's best uh, to place uh, Kokomi instead. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Oh no, this is faster. Okay. Yeah, this event has weird rules for real. Born of ice and fall. Gotcha. All hail. Okay. This is order. Things are about to get dicey. We're way behind. Access denied. All right, busted. For Rex Lapis. I will have order. Strong opponent. Useless. Disappear. Tear. Tear. Worthless. Boring. Worthless! Solidify! Okay, great pick, it's Pyro, if it just stood still for a second. Okay, great. Are they already over? Yes, because only one remained, right? Yes. Okay then. Now we needed to go back to the winery. We're way behind schedule. <laughs> to get that grape juice. By the way guys, I am not sure that uh, tomorrow, even though you know it was what was scheduled, uh, I will be streaming Code Vein because uh, it's just too hot and I don't want to keep the PlayStation on for uh, uh, crazy amounts of times. I thought the heat wave had ceased, but no, let me tell you, we are reaching 40 degrees Celsius, Celsius again and you know, it's a bit hard to bear, uh, so I'm not sure if I will replace it with uh, um, a full guy stream 
or uh, uh, if I will uh, only use the PC for uh, uh, the beginning of a new horror game series already. Uh, the big thing uh, isn't the stream itself, but the preparation to the stream. Like, I need to go around the whole map and, you know, I couldn't really do it these days, so... Yeah, I need to go and collect all of the vestiges uh, to show them to you. You're finally back! I didn't think you'd be gone for so long. Sorry if it was too much trouble. That's okay, we did offer to help. So anyway, is Master D. Luke back yet? We didn't see him at Falcon Coast. Sorry, I'm not sure of Master's whereabouts either. But I did hear that he recently visited Angel's chair. After dealing with this kind of trouble, Master is always careful to tie up all loose ends. It's become something of a routine. He should be back very soon. You needn't worry. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable in the winery. After all that, we managed to completely miss him! Well, I mean, in one way, oh, we well. met him. Let's just wait for him at the winery this time. By the way, Adeline, how come you're always standing here at the door lately? Usually you're busy indoors. Hopefully you haven't been standing there waiting for Master Diluc this whole time, because that would be really tiring. Oh, thanks for your concern. But I've actually been instructed by Master to meet with some special guests here. Certain guests may need reminding to stay away for the time being. Master hopes that under the present circumstances, these guests will keep an appropriate distance from the winery, so as not to make a difficult situation even more complicated. Uh, well, Paimon didn't understand any of that, but it sounds like a really important job. <laughs> That's very kind of you indeed, but you've already helped Master Diluc out a great deal. You can let me take care of these time-consuming chores. There is one small thing you could do for me, though. Please, take this letter and place it on the table to your right as you enter the door. There are a few archived letters on that table already. Just put this one at the very top of the pile. Is this a letter for Master Diluc? Yes, it's from one of his informants. Only those in Master's inner circle are permitted to handle it or serve as custodian. Ooh, that means we're part of Diluc's inner circle. Of course. Master Diluc greatly values your friendship. Thanks again for the help. Okay. Let's go find the desk. All right. I was told that there is something to search here, so I wanted to explore a bit. I'm not sure exactly where. Whoa, there are so many letters here. It looks like Diluc read them just before he left. He must have been in a hurry. Adeline asked us to put this one at the top of the pile, but how are we supposed to tell the order of the other ones? Guess we'll have to read them to get an idea of when they came in. Oh, that's true. In that case, let's just tidy them up a little. You're here. You move fast. Oh, there Whoa, he is. There he is! What are you agonizing over? Miss Adeline asked us to put these letters in a pile, and we can't tell which order they should go in. But uh, it's your personal mail, so it'd be rude for us to read them without your permission. <sighs> There's no need to be nervous. And I can see from the looks on your faces that they've grabbed your interest. <laughs> These letters deal with events that are past and gone. I only held on to them in case any of the information they contain proves useful later down the line. I just dug them out to confirm a few details. I've been following some rather unique developments recently. You were involved in the events in question anyway. You can read them if you want to. It's not a bad thing to be curious. <sighs> hey, that's a good point! Actually, you kind of smell like wild mountain fruit. Oh, did you go to those mountains where the Valberries come from? <laughs> Paimon sniffing Diluc confirmed. <laughs> Very perceptive. Yes, 
I did make a trip to the Stormbearer Mountains. I'll fill you in later. You had the cannon, basically. No fear! We still have some super important things to discuss with Diluc. Not to mention a whole bunch of questions. <sighs> All right. Let's just sort these letters for him. Well, since he said he doesn't mind, why don't we read them as we go? Yes, let's uh, put our noses in his business. Uh, oh god, how many? Um, okay, one at a time. Let's see if they contain any lore or anything. Yeah, let's say he's not very... I'm uh, very good uh, terms with his brother now. Oh, it's, uh, it's Alice. Okay, now, uh, that strange man, ah, ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that, uh, basically, uh, everyone is described by Klee as the best, uh, except for the look, which is, uh, weird, that weird adult that doesn't smile. <laughs> ah, damn. Yeah. Get, get adopted by the mage. One's about. Well, uh, I am. Shall we read another one? Okay, number two. Ah, okay. They go away naturally. Just okay. one more? Remember, we're trying to figure out when each letter was written. I wanted to keep reading. No, uh... No... Oh, was this one written by Albedo, possibly? No, 
Oh, I'm not all set. I wanted to keep Let's reading. Put the letters in the right order. No, I wanted to keep reading. There's one thing we Why? can take away from these. It's that Master Diluc has had a pretty difficult past. Yeah, but possibly I cannot put my model back. Help. No, okay, it's not working. Okay, all right. Not only was he misunderstood by the Knights of Vonius, but he's faced all kinds of other obstacles too. Sounds like it's tough being Captain Pyro. Always fighting alone because, for one reason or another, it wasn't convenient for the people around him to help out. Yeah, that's true. Plus, he's got us now. We can give him all the help he could ever want. Oh, out of friendship, of course. Definitely not just for the grape juice. <laughs> Bye, Mon. <laughs> oh, hello. Wait, what? Slay! <laughs> Slay! Is there a problem? No. <laughs> You're wearing your old outfit again? And you've tied your hair back. You look so formal all of a sudden. Old outfit? You've seen it before? Yep. It was by that Leyline Anomaly. That was your past self, right? Huh. I'm surprised it made such an impression. Do you mind telling us about it? What happened back then? Why were you fighting there? The same reason as ever. Just stopping another Abyss Order plot, they launched an offensive on several fronts at once. Unfortunately for them, they were still no match for me. We were fighting in an area on Falcon Coast, and everything was recorded by the unusually active ley lines. They must have become unstable again recently, causing them to let out all kinds of information from that time. Hence why you saw what you saw. For starters, you only need to deal with the monsters and the ley line deposit will stay dormant, as long as it isn't disturbed again. On the other hand, if I'd done nothing at all, the Knights of Favonius would have taken over straight away. Knowing how they work, they'd be sure to send a large contingent to guard the site. Wouldn't that have been a good thing? Depends. Most of the knights are away on expeditions, so they don't have a lot of people to spare. <laughs> Kaya had these horses get the, taken away. <laughs> if the ley line anomaly was just a diversion tactic, the Abyss Order could have been poised to attack somewhere else entirely, while the knights were scrambling to send what limited forces they have to Falcon Coast. But anyway, I have no interest in talking to the Knights of Favonius. Yeah, we know. I prefer to get to the bottom of things myself, rather than waste time negotiating with them. And it was easy enough for me to find out the Abyss Order's plans. Take a few Abyss Mages hostage, and they soon start talking. Well, yeah, if you threaten to burn them to death, possibly, As you know. For the Knights of Favonius, I've sent someone to enlist their cooperation where it's needed. It's their job to handle situations like this. They ought to be present when things come to a head. I don't like working closely with the Knights of Favonius because of our differences in philosophy. But that doesn't mean we can't watch each other's backs when it counts. Whoa. Seems like you have even more control over things now than you used to, D. Luke. The best way to deal with any threat is to utilize all the force at your disposal. Anyway. Thank you for your help. Adeline brought me up to speed with everything. In return, I have a gift for your trouble. Great gift! The packaging is so fancy! It must be really expensive! This is my personal favorite grape juice, made of the highest quality grapes. I happen to have an unopened batch, so I brought you a bottle to try. I didn't know you were such fans of grape juice. Next time you want some, don't bother waiting for the discount. Just go down to the cellar and help yourselves. No, maybe don't offer that to Paimon. She wouldn't stop and just finish all of the stocks. It's on the house. Woohoo! Paimon's gonna tell everyone we meet that we're VIPs at Don Winery! <laughs> this one bottle must be worth at least, like, 50,000 mora! <laughs> and he gave it to us for free! Thank you so much, Master D. Luke! <laughs> if you're free tonight, you're welcome to stay for dinner. Adeline is already making it. Uh, 
There are, however, a few things I need to take care of before dinner time. Yes, passiveness is not my style. Though I had my suspicions at the start, everything I've come across so far in my investigation suggests that the Abyss Order was not behind this. Since this arose from natural causes, it's time to wrap things up. Um, so what should we do? Right, sure. After all, he did just give us this amazing grape juice. Wait, no. Uh, what was it? After all, even when the odds of success are nine to one, you must never lower your guard. <sighs> well said. In that case, let's get going. Okie dokie, Captain Pyro. You can take it a little easier this time. Come on, let's go! This is the final battle. Then we can put all this trouble behind us. I wanna read. I want to read the letters first. Can I? These letters cover a whole. We're really gonna have to study all the. Which letter do you wanna? Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm not sure if I had already. Uh, which ones had I read? I don't know. Crepus? Oh, he's dead! Okay, These then letters cover up. We're really good. Which letter do you then the tidily? No, okay, this one I read already. Come on. I wish we had the option to just go back. Okay. These letters cover we're really gonna have which letter do you wanna read next? Okay, then number three. No? We had already read that, so number four. These letters we're really gonna which letter do you wanna read next? Or <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely not him, trust me. Yeah, stay safe, uh, he's such a danger to you, absolutely. Okay, then These number five. Really Which letter do you One, two, three, four, five. I know, okay, then only a new letter is left. Yeah, and also before going, I want to try and see if uh, uh, it is time to look for really other gonna... letters. I'm not sure. Okay. Now, uh, I know of a couple places, I think. But I still want to try and... Oh! Oh! What is... No, nothing. Okay. I still want to try and make sure that I... Must have. Which one shall we read first? Oh, oh god, how many of them? 
<laughs> no, I understand that this person wanted to say the look, but <laughs> if you look at it, it looks like uh, a little face. Ah, uh, if you <laughs> to ah, uh, <laughs> storm is. Was this written by... Hey, there's another... Which one shall we read first? Was this written by Kaya? I... Mm, yeah, I think this is Kaya. Hey, there's another... Which like, one shall uh... we read first? He cares, but he's trying not to take up too much of his time. Okay. Now, let me search. I'm trying to put eye drops in, but damn. Okay. We're way behind schedule. Help. There are a few. Take your pick. Let's read one. <laughs> ah, okay, then it wasn't Kaya, but who was it then? There are a few. Take your pick. Let's read one. Okay, the last one. Okay. Have we read all of the ones in the... in the winery or not? No windows. Next on the agenda. Come on, they could have put something in here. <laughs> We're I way mean, damn. Schedule. Next on the agenda. Okay, I saw something. Yeah. Yeah, probably Kai has gift. <laughs> Okay, then there is uh, another place Good. we need to go I was to. Just thinking um, it's uh, uh, Albedo's camp, which I don't remember. Uh, okay, yeah, here. No, I'm not sure if I'm reading all of them. You know, I don't want to spoil myself too much. I just saw. A few places that I should be checking out. Why? Why did he start? I mean... Uh, San song is uh, without in French but why is it is it like a fancy way to say it or did they mix up some translations uh... okay and then Ah, beautiful. Um, then the Knights of Avonius uh, in the office. And then I believe I checked everything.
Ok Have we read everything? Possibly Yes Ok then we can go Alright I thought the last battle was the one I fought before going to the winery, but let's see. Oh, hello! Okay, then I want to try and use uh, him only. Yeah, I want to see his build as well. Okay, yeah. Do it is a shit ton of HP. Yeah, I don't have this weapon yet, but... Okay, so... Attack, I'm guessing... Yeah, that's a bit unrealistic to achieve, but... And they give it the noblesse oblige, okay. Alright. Yeah, no way my deal could ever make these seven numbers. But. Access denied. This is order. Waste to the wicked! Damn! There, it's done. The ley line deposit will disappear before long. All thanks to the power of teamwork! See, even Captain Pyro needs his trusty sidekick sometimes. It can't be Master Diluc saving the day by himself every single time. Many hands make light work. Sidekicks. Hmm. It's been a long time since I last worked with others. It's not so bad. If the opportunity arises, let's team up again in the future. He's basically the only pyro character I use in the Abyss, so... Yeah, I think he will come in uh, the team soon again. Okay. Now... Everything is complete, so... Let's start. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna add Kokomi instead so that Take heart. I have a team ready for a fight should it be needed. Okay. The traveler is also unavailable. What am I supposed to do? Turn well, around. That's your problem. It was your choice to get into this mess. Oh, but fortunately for you, it appears your savior has just arrived. Hmm? Ah, traveler. Great, you made it. Huh. Well, it's not like you were ever really busy to begin with. Uh, Songo? Compared to the traveler, you're the one who has too much free time. No, I'm very busy. I'm busy standing here. I have to stand here all day. Ha, ha. Even if it's a commission you're unwilling to take, your excuse is just pathetic. Yes, that's why I've asked you to come over. Allow me to explain. A key member of the Tenryo Commission has recently gone missing. No one has seen them and their whereabouts are currently unknown. The Tenryo Commission has entrusted us to find this person discreetly because it would be a hassle for them to look for this person openly for a variety of reasons. Their name is... Kujosara. That's right, the General has gone missing. 
If the general was really missing, the Tenryo Commission would have flipped Inazuma on its head by now. And do you think they would only commission us for a case like that? Please ignore Sango's nonsense, Traveler. In fact, the missing person's name is Shikanoin Heizo. He works as a special detective at the police station. Although his rank is merely a doshin, he is quite competent and held in high regard by the police station. Uh, do they think he's more competent than me? <sighs> we get that you don't want to help, Sango, but could you at least try not to make things more difficult here? Sorry, Traveler. Even though I accepted the commission, as you can see, Sango's less than thrilled to be involved in this case. Nope. Not even close. If you really want to know why, it's because I absolutely refuse to deal with that brat's nonsense. The only news that could make me happier than Shikanoin has gone missing would be Shikanoin has been missing for a hundred years! Damn! <clears throat> Needless to say, Sango and Heizo have a bit of a history. Um, uh, uh, well, it's a little more serious than that. According to Sango, Heizo was an obstacle in her path to the Temple of Truth. Like a yappy dog that was constantly in the way. <sighs> Even though Heizo has a unique personality, he's actually a nice guy. Really, I've learned a lot from him. So I can't just ignore this case, even if Sango doesn't approve. At the very least, I could entrust the commission to someone capable and trustworthy, like you, Traveler. Huh? No, no, it's not like that. Listen, I'll pay the entire amount originally promised by the Tenryo Commission, and I'll even personally throw in some additional funds. I'm really hoping you can take this commission, Traveler. Money, money, money. If Heizo truly is in danger, I know he'll be safer with you by his side. Actually, we get along great. But Sango has always asked me to keep my distance and not to act like I know him in public settings. So, when people ask, I usually just say I've met Chikanoin a few times. If it hadn't been for today's incident, I'd... Uh, well, let's not get into that. Anyway, could you please help look for him? Well, that's about all I have to tell you. Oh, please take this commission letter from the police station. If you find Hazo, return there and report back to them. Oh, it's you. The captain of Swordfish 2? My name is Shibata. I'm in charge of the watch here. May I inquire as to what the captain needs? So his name is Shikano Inhezo, huh? Yes, I'm familiar with the detective. He used to stroll around the area. Her Excellency had assigned me to keep a close eye on him at the time, fearing that he would do something unpleasant. But I eventually realized that he acted more like he was on a trip or something. Come to think of it, I believe he was recently spotted in the area east of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Please feel free to go there and take a look for yourself. Empty pockets. Please, you can just let me go. Just shut up and stay put. Oh, well, well, look who it is. I was wondering who could be valiant enough to wipe the floor with these guys so easily. Turns out it was the distinguished traveler. Really, I can't thank you enough. 
Of course I was aware of you long before you arrived in Inazuma. Though the Sakoku Decree managed to keep the country locked up, it wasn't able to stop the incredible stories about you. Every day, all of those little stories would come scurrying over to my desk, like files with little feet. I was actually thinking about going to meet you once I wrapped up the business at hand. Who would have guessed that you'd show up first? <laughs> ah, I got so excited, I nearly forgot to introduce myself. Ahem. The name's Shikanoin Heizo, Special Detective of the Tenryo Commission. It's a pleasure to meet you, Traveler. I wish you all the best on your journey through Tevat, by the way. Huh. I guess that means I've taken over as the main character in your story today. I've always heard that you take commissions from all kinds of people, helping everyone out with everything you can imagine. So now it's my turn to take your help, huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. That was already obvious to me. It's no coincidence that you've arrived here, because that would be the stuff of an epic novel. The two protagonists of the story both travel to Watatsumi Island by chance and cross paths as if by fate. The Traveler from afar heroically rescues the weak and defenseless detective from the clutches of the ruthless Nobushi. <sighs> Traveler, you are so dreamy. Unfortunately, though, I don't believe in coincidences. So, guessing you came to me on the police station's commission, didn't you? I'm a detective. <laughs> Can you guess what gave it away? <laughs> Sounds like you already have some ideas about the work of a detective. Let me ask you this. What's that your little sidekick is holding? If I'm not mistaken, it's a commission letter from the police station. Also just taking a look. She can look, but you can't. <laughs> oh come on. Don't be like that. After all, this is the first time I've seen a voice. I must admit, I'm most intrigued. Huh? Voice? What are you talking about? A vision is an external magical focus, right? Well, similarly. A voice is an external voice box. I've heard that the Traveler isn't very talkative, but given how chatty you are, you must be her voice, right? For someone who says they don't want to be a voice, you sure do talk a lot. <laughs> well, let me think for a moment. Yes, all this started a long time ago, during the war. Kujo Takayuki, who was head of the Tenryo Commission at the time, 
had secretly asked me to investigate the military capabilities of Sanganamiya. But I had already grown tired of the guy for a while, <laughs> so I simply treated the trip as a paid vacation. I had heard that Watatsumi Island is really beautiful. As for the mission, I thought I'd just come up with some random excuses or whatever when I reported back. But guess what? The first night I arrived on Watatsumi Island, I had a dream. The dream contained only one message, an echo resounding from the depths of the earth that kept ringing in my ears, saying... Something vital is missing on this island. Isn't that bizarre? Something vital has gone missing on this island. Has something evaporated into thin air? Hmm, what could it be? Paimon bets it must be something delicious. You know, because the soil of Watatsumi Island can't grow crops. There's a shortage of food here. Oh. Food, huh? Hmm. How about you, Traveler? What do you think is missing? You mean the Great Serpent? Well, that's an interesting answer. But the Electro Archon hasn't abandoned this place. Interestingly, I didn't have the same dream again after I left this place. So I became even more intrigued. Was this really just some random dream? Some people believe that dreams represent the Divine's helping hand. Which, I suppose, is understandable. However, if you ask me, dreams have nothing to do with the gods. Instead, they are flashes of intuition. It was my intuition telling me that there was something important about this island that... Poof! Suddenly vanished. So I decided to accept this little commission from my intuition and investigate to see if I could come up with any compelling findings. Unfortunately, the investigation has had little progress up to this point. Who knows? I felt there was something peculiar about them. So I pretended to get captured to see if there were any leads that would surface. And that's when you showed up. Nah, don't worry about it. These guys were just a bunch of small fries. Besides, your arrival is much more important to me. I have a feeling you can help me find the answer to my dream. So how would you like to partner up on this one? We can work together to solve the mystery. Yes, of course, I understand. But let me ask one more question. Did the police station say they are looking for me because of something important? Well, then it's probably nothing major. Most likely they're short on staff or something petty like that, and they happen to remember their model employee. So since we're already here, why don't we just solve this puzzle together? Once everything is settled, I'll gladly accompany you back to the police station, or anywhere else you'd like to go. What do you think? Ah, uh, what a sterling example of dedication. In that case, I'll accompany you back to the police station first. We can discuss the issue of Watatsumi Island later. Ha! <laughs> 
Oh, look who showed up. Hey, Zo, you're finally back. Listen, if you took any longer to come back, everyone at the police station would be toast. You say that every time I come back, Uesugi. However, something does feel a little unusual about the police station this time. Come on, would I ever lie to you? Madam Kujo Saro is here, and she's on the warpath, so be on the lookout. <laughs> What's that lady doing here? Doshin Shikanoi. I see you finally returned. Please, enlighten us. What have you been doing recently? Uh, okay. I was just out investigating a case. Don't give me that. I checked the records here. You didn't take any cases. Uh, actually, it's a case of personal relevance to me. These two can attest to that. Hmm? Traveler? Paimon, what are you two doing here? We're the ones who brought Hazel back! Brought him back? Can someone please explain? Uh, well, Madam Kujosara, because we couldn't locate Doshin Shikanoin, we commissioned Detective Ryuji from the detective agency. Shortly after, Ryuji returned to tell us, uh, that he had given the commission to the Traveler, <clears throat> and then... Ugh, it used to be that the Tenryo Commission assisted others with disappearances, but it seems these days others are now assisting us. You've done it this time, Shikanoin. I think I've really seen it all. <laughs> I mean, is it really so unusual for officers and citizens to assist one another? Yeah, it was kind of weird, but it was definitely an investigation. He even pretended to be captured by Nabushi and treasure hoarders. Oh, is that so? Well, since you are testifying for him, I suppose I won't ask any more questions. But since you're here, I have an extra favor to ask. I'd like you to be Shikanoin's temporary supervisor. It'll be your duty to ensure that he handles his case properly and that he doesn't disappear and neglect his work again. I'll be sure that the police station prepares the appropriate compensation. Oh, uh, yes! Traveler, I I'm sure we'd all really appreciate it. Hmm. Hazu seems to be happy with the idea. <laughs> you should thank the Traveler this time, Doshin Shikanoin. Otherwise, I don't think I would have let you off so easily. Here, take this letter of complaint. It's written against you. Please consider carefully what to do with it. I do not wish to see another one. Understood? Huh? Someone filed a complaint? That can't be right. Why would there be a complaint letter? No, it really doesn't add up. You two don't get it. Although Madame Kujosara just made some harsh remarks, we all know that Heizo Senpai is a real whiz when it comes to cracking cases. He's the biggest asset on our team. Several leaders have risen through the ranks as a result of his achievements. He's definitely no slacker.
Hey. No, guys, no way. Damn. I I have no idea what happened. I just um what do I do? Uh how long has it been since uh Wait. How long has it been since you didn't hear my audio? I had tested it before the stream but uh it's somehow uh, unplugged. Uh, great. Okay, you know what? I... I'm starting again, I guess. I'm sorry. I will cut the stream and uh, I will start again the investigation. My bad, I, I really didn't notice. Uh, I thought it was weird because I was looking at my model a bit and... Uh, I didn't see the lip sync correctly, but yeah, my bad, for real. Let's try again with this one. I'm sorry if uh, uh, the looks uh, didn't catch the comments, but I I didn't expect it. Sorry. Uh, join the second live again. <laughs> 